Okay, so now here, if you're going to declare a dynamic variable or dynamic array within a function, that's almost the same as what we did from the previous example. It's just that we're going to now again uh, create a syntax using the new operator. So again, uh, this is the same example from uh, the last example that I gave. But in this case, I'm not going to get the lowest. Instead, just the highest number. Okay? So in this case, I omitted already the portion of num subscript size since we're going to create okay, a dynamic array. So to create a dynamic array, we're going to use pointer pt1 to create the dynamic array with equals new double and then subscript size. Again, size is 10, so that means it will create an array, okay? A dynamic array with an array size of 10. Then we're going to call get input to input the values of the uh, uh, the elements of the array, okay? Next, so I also omitted uh the portion that we need to reinitialize the value of the first position of uh, the array since we do not have any more an array variable and pointer pt1 creates automatically the dynamic allocation so that's why we're going to omit that portion okay then since we're going to get the highest number okay and then um here pt2 is actually Again, a pointer that points to a dynamic allocation, dynamic variable, or this is actually a dynamic variable allocation. So that's why we just um, type new and then double without the bracket since this is just a simple variable. Okay, so again, pointer PT2 is pointed to a new dynamic allocation, okay, which is a simple variable. And pointer PT1 is pointed to a new dynamic allocation which is an array with a size of 10 okay so in this case i'm going to call get high okay and then send again pointer pt1 okay that holds the address of the array and pt2 holds the address of a simple variable okay but that variables are dynamically allocated meaning we do not created a variable name for an array and for a simple variable okay then get display meaning we're going to again display the values of the array using pointer pt1 and we're going to display the value of the highest number using pointer pt2 but before that again so this is actually the code for the main program how about for the get input so whatever we did from the previous example we do not revise anything from that except from uh, creating a pointer variable from the main and instead of pointing pointer pt1 and pt2 to a simple variable and to an array variable, we use a dynamic allocation. Okay, So since we are creating a dynamic allocation, at the end of the program, in the main program, we need to delete Okay, or we need to destroy that allocation. So, we use delete and then we simply delete pointer pt2 semicolon. And since this one is another pointer that holds an array, so we need to use another delete subscript and then this one is for pt1. Okay. So, if we run the code again, going to input the values. So, we will get that the highest number is on the fifth position, which is 789. So, again, we do not change anything from the other code except for okay, creating a new operator for dynamic allocation. And then, in addition, we also use delete operator to delete where pointer pt2 is pointed and pointer pt1. So, if you have any concerns and questions, again, with this um, example, you may actually have a consultation next week during or after our class.